water is filled in a rectangular tank of size 3 cross 2 cross 1 find the total force exerted by the water on the bottom surface of the tank fine now first of all let's draw the diagram I have the cube like this this is my rectangular tank whose sides are 3 2 and 1 fine now in first part I have to calculate the force that is exerted at the bottom and force is given by pressure into area now pressure at the bottom with respect to the top surface will be given by h rho g into area now just substitute the values the height is 1 meter density of water is 1000 into g is 10 into 6 so it comes out to be 6 into 10 to the power 4 newton fine in second part take a horizontal strip of width delta x like this that is in meters and situated at the depth x from the top surface we have to calculate the force by the water on this strip now pressure at this very strip will be given by h rho g so the height is x rho is water and g is g right and the force that will acting will be given by pressure into area now the area of the strip is length into breadth so it is 2 into delta x so x into rho w into g into 2 delta x so it comes out to be 2 into 10 to the power 4 x into delta x newton in c part we have to calculate the torque that is acting by this force about the bottom edge now about the bottom edge I can write torque is r cross f I know the value of force and the value of r that is the, the, this is the distance of the point of force from the point of rotation so this distance is 1 minus x so it will be x into so it will be r the value is 1 minus x and the value of f is 2 into 10 to the power 4 into x into delta x newton newton meter this is the value of the torque that is acting in d part I have to calculate the total force that is acting on the side so I know that force for a small strip is given by 2 into 10 to the power 4 into x into delta x right and I assume it to be the small force that is acting on the small strip now if I have to calculate the complete force that is acting on the complete side so what I have to do is I have to integrate the value of x from 0 to 1 so I'll integrate it from 0 to 1 I have 2 into 10 to the power 4 to x square by 2 and the value of limit is from 0 to 1 so it comes out to be 10 to the power 4 Newton that is the answer now in E part I have to calculate the net torque now we know that net torque is given by again torque is given by R cross F fine so the expression was like 2 into 10 to the power 4 into x into 1 minus x now this was just a small torque that is acting due to the small force acting on a small strip so I'll write it as d tau now if I have to integrate it I mean if I want the total torque then I have to integrate it from the value of x varying from 0 to 1 again so it will be like 2 into 10 to the power 4 into x square by 2 minus x cube by 3 0 to 1 so the value of torque comes out to be 10 to the power 4 by 3 Newton meter that is the answer